Humans aren't the only species plagued by disease. Tasmanian devils have been battling an aggressive cancer for years. So what if a vaccine meant for one could actually help save another? The creation of the COVID-19 jab is helping in the development of a vaccine for devils. I'm here at the Menzies Institute for Medical Research based in Hobart, where the vaccine is under development in a lab. Some exciting progress has been made, so let's hear from the experts. So Andy, tell me a little bit about how this vaccine works. So it's very similar to what's happened with the COVID vaccine. So you, you take a, a weak virus, you put in a bit of the coronavirus to make it look like that. The immune system comes in and attacks the vaccine and it also attacks the bit that looks like the coronavirus. In our case, it'll hopefully attack the bit that looks like a devil facial tumor. Researchers have been working on devil vaccines for years. Although the devils that we vaccinated mounted an immune response against DFTD, it wasn't protective. The pandemic has forced global companies like AstraZeneca to propel vaccine technology forward, meaning a new shot at saving an endangered animal. The conundrum now is how to vaccinate a wild Tasmanian devil. So there's a strategy that's been used in four or five different continents around the world, and it's to put a vaccine in a bait. So we started doing some initial trials to see what bait devils like to eat, and hopefully other animals don't like to eat. And it turns out that a lot of animals eat things they're not supposed to eat. Since the mid-1990s, the devil facial tumour has seen the population plummet from about 53,000 to 17,000 marsupials. We have all seen wild devils with tumours and recognise what a devastating disease it is at the individual level. Um, but we all also realise how critical the devil as a species is. I'm on my way to Bonnarong Wildlife Sanctuary, which is about a 30 minute drive from Hobart CBD. It's where clinical trials of the vaccine are expected to get underway sometime next year. So Greg, how's Bonnarong Wildlife Sanctuary going to be involved in this project? Look, I guess our expertise comes in in just looking after devils um, day to day and their, their basic husbandry. Tasmanian devils are regular tenants at Bonnarong. So Kelly's mum actually died of facial tumour disease, um, so that's why she's here. But with spare land and trained staff, housing more of them for the trial was a no-brainer. But building new enclosures won't be easy. They're quite sneaky, they can climb a little bit. If you have the wrong walls, they can dig a little bit as well. Wildlife carers have been watching the work on vaccines closely. The level of detail and what they're even contemplating doing for me is just absolutely mind-boggling. I mean, she's not going to shut up, I don't think. Making a lot of noise about a big milestone. Liz Gwynn, ABC News.